The best way that I found to attract people to my Patreon is to very, very casually mention Patreon. I don't go for the approach of trying to massively sell my Patreon, and I think it's kind of better that I don't do that because it does feel a little bit more secret. So every week I send out a cruise news newsletter to my email list. At the bottom of that email list, I will just have a little sentence that says, Patreons, your weekly podcast is ready, get it here. That type of thing interests people because they think, what is that? I haven't heard about that before. They'll click on the link and be taken to my Patreon page. I do mention Patreon on my social media accounts. I have a tiny little thing in the sidebar of my website and it is linked on my YouTube channel, but I don't go out there and say, everybody join my Patreon. I need your money. That's not how I approach this. The absolute best thing you can do is to get your Patreons to promote your Patreon for you. At the start, this can be a little bit tricky, but if you just mention to your Patreons, hey guys, I've talked about Patreon on Instagram today. Can you please go over there and leave a comment that's something nice? They will do that. These are the people that support you and want to help you. Every time I do a YouTube live stream, I have people coming into my live stream and saying, hey Emma, what is your Patreon? Do you have Patreon? And these are people that I know are my Patreons and they're just giving me the opportunity to talk about it. So don't overlook the power that you have. As soon as you have a Patreon and you have a couple of people in there, they want to help you. Let them help you. It definitely is more powerful if you can get other people to talk about your Patreon rather than yourself. When I did send out the Christmas cards, I had so many people sharing on the internet that they had these Christmas cards from me and that they loved being a member of my Patreon. And that really helped me more than me trying to sell it. I never ever want to be seen as somebody who is trying to sell something, who is spammy, who is annoying. I want to let my audience know that I still appreciate them even if they're not Patreons, which is why I tend to just go for more subtle, messages about Patreon rather than directly telling people to join. For example, when I did send out Christmas cards, I needed to get everybody's address. So I would be posting a couple of times into my Facebook group and saying, Patreons, I need your address. I want to send you a Christmas card. Of course, more people saw that than just the Patreons. And it definitely got a lot of interest because people were commenting on it. So definitely try to just mention it. I would say too, if you can mention it and use language that sounds like somebody is already a Patreon, that really helps. So for example, in the email newsletter, I will say, Patreons, this is ready. I won't say, if you're a Patreon, then you can click here. I will just say, Patreons, this is ready. And then when people click on it, they can either join or they can't, it's up to them. Don't be afraid to mention Patreon though, and don't be afraid to mention how it does help you to support your channel. When I do do a casual mention of Patreon, I'll often include a few sentences that just says, what is Patreon? And I will say, Patreon is a way for creators to be supported by their audience through small monthly donations in exchange for exclusive content. Something like that, that's what I will say on my YouTube channel if people do ask. If you have an About Me page on your website, definitely add a section about Patreon. I have got one with a couple of reviews of my podcast that I do in my Patreon, just to try and interest people and show people that other people are enjoying this thing. The more social proof you can get, the more evidence you can get that other people are joining and enjoying it, the more other people will see that and think, I'd like to be a part of that too. I also have at the bottom of my weekly newsletter, a place that just says support me and then the link is to your Patreon. Basically anywhere where you talk about yourself, link to your Patreon, have it on your About Me page, possibly on your YouTube and any of your social accounts, just as and when it is appropriate to talk about Patreon, just casually mention it and people will appreciate that you're not being overly salesy. Now that you have Patreons, you're gonna to need to know how to keep them because it's so much easier to keep a Patreon rather than get a new one. And we're gonna talk about that in the next video.